Mm-hmm. Let's start. Banter. 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 So it's just a banter. Good humor, playful, typical, spontaneous conversation. All right. Banter. Welcome to Wednesday Our Banter. <laughs> okay, so I think we don't really have a topic. We can't say this is the topic. All we can say is that, wow, this is. Uh, is passing. So, um, like I earlier said, no topic is as being aligned to this video. It's a banter from a spontaneous so banter 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 banter. <laughs> so okay, so um we realize that people when it comes to relationship, some people don't know how to um make certain decisions. Yes, and don't know how to place itself in higher value. And the thing is that at the point in your life you need to know when this person is trash, when this person is good to go, or when this person is nada. Not just for you, exactly. That's just like out of this world. It's, an, it's a zero, zero. Now, as a, as a lady or a man, you should know what you want with your life, your goals, your aspiration, who you want to be, um, where you want to be in your relationship, and your friendship mentally and spiritually. Because one thing about not knowing where you want to go to where you want to go in this part of your life is that you keep on running in circles exactly. and then you just become become dormant. Dormant in the sense that you become like a dummy. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know why this friendship is important to you. You don't know why you're still existing or relating with that kind of person. Now, if you at the end of the day find out why you're relating with that person you are expected that way you know how important you can place the person the person is worth going the extra mile for or not but me in my relationship or in my friendship i see the need to always go an extra mile even when the person is behaving like a psychopath <laughs> but then is that at the end of the day it's just i'm i'm just kind of i'm just that kind of person that goes all out for a friend and for family. It's just like that. So we're not saying this to be judgmental. I know it takes a while for some people to know what they want out of life and stuff. It's not everybody that knows immediately. But when it comes to relationships, you, you should know what you want. Because when you're past your 21, when you're past 20 self, you should already know certain things you want when it comes to relationship so no shade but you have to know it's just normal for you to know what you want when it comes to that part so you don't want to be um dating someone and be like oh mm, we're taking our time you can't be taking your time when it's not like you're 19 20 even 21 you can't be saying you're taking your time like one of thing like we said it's not everybody it's not everybody must get married but then at the same time if you want to you, you shouldn't need to be wasting put the your work in it. exactly you shouldn't be wasting your time with somebody like some like people some people were saying when we ask them questions they said that if men know they want to marry you or if someone knows they want to marry you, they know it especially guys they know it in the first few months or even in the first one some people even know it immediately so you don't allow a guy or a girl to be wasting your time if they're just with you for the fun of it <laughs> hello you're not down for that kind of fun all that kind of fun should have happened in your past life because you're trying to build your future so instead of wasting your time with a certain kind of person like don't just I beg no time wasters basically but the thing is that at the end of the day you mark who said you know it in one. exactly you know you the are truth pausing aren't you you know the truth. Don't let people waste your time. Because when people waste your time, you can never get those times back. Time back. Possible. 
It's not. It's, it's not, not possible. possible. Exactly. You can't get the time back. And you, my yourself, you know, like you are seeing the red flags. You are seeing the thing, but because maybe there's no other person available at that moment, you're just going with the flow. Don't go okay. with the flow. Focus on yourself. It is better time your to life. manage the person that is failing. There's no room for managing that kind it. of life. You should always um, learn to. I hear when people say. This person has a lot of lists and they feel the person will never attain the list at the maybe like ex for example now if you say in your mind you want him to be tall that can answer him God fearing and you want him to oh, be the lawyer, yeah, mm -hmm. all those things. The thing is that at the end of the day, all those lists are not in vain if you actually pray about it. Exactly. And do you know one thing? God is funny in the sense that he may not give you the exact figure of man that you listed out for him, but well, he will give, give you what, what is you good need. for you, what you need. need. Not what you want. Do you understand? Exactly. And some of those attributes that you want in your husband, they might be already being you, and it, it takes time for... The, you for to you to on. influence him exactly, and that makes him the happy person. yeah so jesus and the main life tell him what you want, want. Hey. jesus and the main life tell him what you want just call him and tell him what you want exactly so i just say we love you guys and we don't want you people to waste your time with any guy or any girl like any human yeah being like when you see someone you like and you know you feel you're ready for that kind of relationship or something. Have the conversation. Don't lead yourself astray. Don't waste your time. Your subconscious mind has told you the right thing to do. Follow that God. Do the right, do the work. The thing is that relationships are work. Mm -hmm. It has to do with, and it deals with love, patience, and kindness. Exactly. And loyalty. But the thing is that most of the time, we skip through the process of waiting we are not patient enough to understand that sometimes when you are patient things turn out better than the way you expect it exactly. now when i say patience i didn't say you go and wait one, 10 years i didn't say you wait five years in the space of two to three years it's okay to wait if you know what you want if you feel this person is good for you now before People be saying, don't waste degree, don't waste your life um, having conversations with this person or so that, what am I saying? <laughs> so people will say, um, don't spend four to five years with this person and all that. I still stand on that thing. Now, after two years and you don't know what you're doing with this person, then cut it up. When the person has sense, story person by him, when the person he will come what the back to you, he or she will, will come back to you. Or maybe the person was not even just for you in the first place. And then if you're mentally and physically and emotionally not ready for a relationship, don't get into it. Don't lead other people on. Don't be wasting those people's time. Um, do you understand? Because mm -hmm. it's both on the two parties. Maybe the other person may not just be mentally ready for the space. And because the person doesn't want to disappoint the other person, mm -hmm. the person just keep on stringing along. So if you have the other person that will be stringing another person along, please, if you're not mentally ready, just tell the person. Tell the person, I'm not. Babe, I'm not ready. Dude, exactly. I'm not ready. It's, it's, easy it's easy and it's simple. Because at the end of the day, as you grow older, you begin to realize that you don't want to be alone. And for you not to be alone the rest of your life, you better be patient yes. and choose the right person. And also understand yourself. Because when you understand yourself, you'll be able to understand who the right person who is you're for dealing you. dealing with. Exactly. And that's another thing. And there's one thing that says, um, having, having breaking off an engagement is better than having a wrong marriage. Right. Definitely. So, and the thing is that either you're engaged now or not, if you feel deep down your heart or you're in a relationship feel deep down your heart that this relationship is not going the certain part and you spend good amount of months or a year or two or three and you feel it's not going forward please by all means have a conversation with your partner and move on because you don't know that you might be wasting your time and god might actually be bringing the person 
mm -hmm. the right person to hang out. But because you are a time waster and you are wasting, you are likely to waste your time. And if you are wasting your time, the right person will not come at the right time. And I think, and I think again, I know your like we've previously said, I know your husband, your or your boyfriend or something, shouldn't be best friends. They don't have necessarily have to be best friends with your friends, but then they should be able to show them a certain level of respect tolerance love if your f boyfriend your girlfriend whoever you're dating or whoever you want to marry is taking your loved ones far away from you <laughs> then i don't think that's the right person for you because they are meant to bring people closer to you not to separate people away from you and then mm -hmm. they'll be the only person so yeah so those kind of people that are pushing people away from you, mm -hmm. I don't think they're the right people they're, for they're, you. They are wrong for you because at the end of the day, it's family. Family is all you have because friends will run away at one point in your life. But when you have family, it's key. And that whatsoever you're marrying or dating has become family when they already know your family. And if they are making you stray away from them, I think you need to reevaluate. Stay away family. from their friends too, because there's Your some friends, friends that are already like, like family. family so. Do you understand? Yeah, so you need to reevaluate that relationship and know what you want. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. I think that's basically it. Mm -hmm. Don't stay with the time waster. Don't stay waste your time. time. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time waster. In conclusion, Stay true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Know what you want in a relationship. Know what you want in life. And be good. Be fabulous. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have Thank you for listening to our banter. Have a lovely week. <laughs>